Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I am doing my first real run in my Topos ST2 Zero Drops. Right away, I stopped after about eight strides. Why? Uh, the insole. Just felt like the uh, insole was coming up out of the heel from the back of the shoe. It just felt really weird. So it's like, ah, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of room anyways. Let's take them out. I'm glad I did. They feel great as of now. Uh, three fourths of a mile in with a little bit of an uphill. And coming up the hill felt like I was maybe sliding a little bit too far forward in them. That could just be a lacing thing. Um, pro for the shoe. It gives me the second eyelet at the top so I can do my front lock lacing. Uh, feel feels very similar to the Scora uh, fits. I usually wear the Scora Phase. So these have a little bit more of a cushion to them. But overall, nice feed, feedback, good feel, wide toe box, and everything's great except for that insole. Just didn't like it. Like he has even contour to go up the shoe a little bit. I don't know. It just kind of was funny. So took them out. Feels good. Everything great so far. No real cons. I'll talk more about that. But so the SD2s, zero drop shoe. Don't know the stack height. Uh, Want to say it's like 16 millimeters. I'm not sure. Uh, so, a little cushion I'm not used to, but I kind of like it. It'd be better for longer runs. Uh, I don't feel any tightness around the top of my foot that's been giving me problems. So, we'll get there. There's a deer. Oh, deer. My biggest concerns for Yeti is that the course is mostly crushed limestone um, and that's a problem with me and my minimal shoes that I usually wear because like the vapor gloves um, because sometimes those rocks can be chunky so doing a little test on some funk and really I, I can tell they're there but no no pain no pain in my game Thing. Here. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, what won't you do? That's cool. Yeah, so rocks without the insole. Feels pretty good. Nice and protective. No rock plate. Other than that, solid. So going through tall grass now. Tall. Talk about the weight of the shoe. It really isn't that heavy. Um, it's not a minimalist shoe, but it is a zero drop with not so much padding. I don't know the exact weight. I'll throw it up right here. So I don't know. Overall, right now, I'll give them a solid A minus. Very similar to Scora, which I like. Which hopefully I can get back to soon. Um, these are solid replacement. If you're looking for a nice zero drop, wide toe box, something that gives you feel but still protects, Topos might be it. It's, I know they offer a few more styles that are beefed up, a little bit more protective, but I like it. So we'll see how it goes. We'll keep keep on keeping on in these. And uh, overall, surprised. 
I like it. I like it a lot. This is the craziness of the deer in our town. What are you doing, bud? Ah, you got your friend over there too. That's not a safe spot to be. Okay, I'll leave you alone so your friend can join you. All right? Deer, everywhere. There are even alleyways, let's just sneak up on them and bang, there's a deer, two feet away. But, gate was locked, so gotta go out the main gate. Going uphill, I still kind of feel like the heel of the shoe is starting to slip. But it's not slipping. I don't, I don't know. Because I'm just used to that real heel feel. Uh, we'll go Chapel Gate, actually. It's called Chapel Gate. There's the chapel. no yellow gate like with Lars, Laz, Lazarus, but that's the sign that you have to hit in order to make one of these uphill repeats official. Not doing those today, that's for sure. Maybe get two, three more miles and call it a day. times Ben. Dang, you're a beast. Here's our friend again. Since I just kind of looped around, he snuck his way back over. Enjoy his buddy. All right, just went down a little bit of a steep downhill. And another pro, didn't feel like my feet were jamming in to the front of the shoe. So the stability and the uh, feel of the shoe were spot on there. Um, one other possible con, possible bad thing, my stride feels different. Um, feels like I'm more midfoot heel striking. That could be from this weekend's training. 15 one day, 18 the other. My hamstrings are pretty tight, calves are tight, so not blaming the shoe yet. I don't think it's the shoe. I think it's just my body being funny. But training, stepping up, it's feeling good. Doing some strength work, core work, not a lot. Need to do more. But getting some miles in. Crested 40 last week. Shooting for close to 50 this week. It's going to be tough. We're going to a theme park this weekend. But it's got to put more miles in during the week. Not saving them all for the weekend. So this will be a good, good start for that. I'm trying to get my runs in at night. It doesn't give me enough time to get really go far. So I can wake up early. But I'm not a morning person at all. But I'll start splitting those days up more. All about them miles. Speed test. 30-ish second sprint maybe. Ah, 10, 15. Don't know go that far. It's gonna get shaky. Hold on. Seriously, that felt good. So maybe these shoes, speed is a trick. I don't know what ST2 stands for, but speed track two. Speed something, speed type. Speed type two, what's the two? Cause they're the shh. 